so here, here's the thing right here's the thing that i think um I, I think cig is going for what they want to do is they want to like we don't see it but internally they have builds where they're testing i believe the big ship combat experience and i think i know we when we first started they started releasing smaller ships because they were easier to get in but i think the primary means of combat is going to be the big ships and i think the icing on the cake will be the, the, the fighters right so the primary combat being the big ships this means that um the experience that they want to deliver with the big ships is they want to what they're going to deliver with the the engineering gameplay inside of the ships um with the big ships is going to be something that we've never seen in the gaming industry it's going to be it's going to deliver a really unique experience that we haven't had before and they really want to knock that out of the park and so i think in cig's eyes the primary means of com combat is going to be the big ships and how they're going to be balanced how they're going to balance the combat experience between the big ships and then after once they have that dial down which is which is why they're going with with this power management system right with the pips because they want you to have people in your crew that will be managing that for you and we'll have to make decisions because right now i can't put all power to i can't put all power to weapons at all times and have all power to and en uh engines all times and have all power to coolers and all that so i would we would constantly be making decisions um between all these different systems you know so and with that even if you look at some of the components i have installed right i have the way i built this ship is i'm using partially industrial and partially military components reason being the industrial ones give me the most performance but the engineering the um, uh, military components give me the most flexibility as well as uh durability in terms of the components health points so if you look at my coolers my this one right here that has a three pip requirement just to run is my industrial component but it's giving me the most cooling um out of the two right and then this one right here is my military um cooler gives it has only a one pip requirement and that is so good it has a one pip requirement and um, it allows me to reallocate pips if I need it to other parts of the ship. So having a, a, um, an engineering crew, guys on deck dealing with fires and all, all that, as well as somebody that's dealing with the engineering terminals, is going to be so important because at any given time you'll be making decisions. Okay, reroute power to engines, reroute power to shields right now. We need to recharge our shields uh we were power to weapons we're, re we're ready to attack you know what i mean Th they want to deliver those kinds of experiences and so with that they're refocusing on the big ships once they dial those in then they're going to come back down to the fighters and make sure the fighter experience is also good i think that's what they're doing 